Good day everyone. This time, tuturo ko paano nga ba mag-solve ng problems involving compound interest kapag ka compounding more than once a year. Okay? So, we have the formula F is equal to P times 1 plus I raised to M over M raised to the power of M times T. Okay? So, discuss natin ano nga ba itong mga variables na ito. Now, when I say F, that is the future value or maturity value. Ano po iyon? Ibig sabihin, kasama yung interest tsaka yung principal amount. So, lahat-lahat no, ng pera mo uh, sa banko, for example, kung ikaw ay nag-deposit. No? Or, kapag ka ikaw naman ng utang, yan lahat ang babayaran mo. So, ang tawag dyan, future value or maturity value. Now, the P is the principal amount. This is the original amount. Magkano yung original amount na inutang mo, di kaya dineposit mo. Then, we have I raised to M. That is the nominal rate for interest. O, huwag ka na malito dyan, no? Sa I raised to M, just simply the rate. The nominal rate of interest. Huwag kayong malito dun sa exponent na M. Di nyo siya isi-simplify. Kundi itong M na yan ay label lang. Uh, it just a label kung ilan yung conversion period niya. So, ano naman yung M? The frequency of conversion. Okay? Kasi sa compounding more than once a year, meron tayong tinatawag na semi-annually. Okay? Ibig sabihin, uh, kinocompute niya yung compound interest dalawang beses sa isang taon. Okay? Kapag ka quarterly naman, ibig sabihin, kinocompute niya ang compound interest apat na beses sa loob ng isang taon. O ibig sabihin, every three months, magkakaroon ng compound interest. Okay? Pag monthly naman, of course, 12. Kasi nga, every month naman dito, mayroong tinatawag na interest. Okay? So, meron pa yung weekly, daily, but usual, ito po yung ginagamit, no? Yung semi-annually, quarterly, and monthly. Now, the T, that is the term or time. So, let's start with number one. If you deposit 5,000 pesos into an account paying 6% annual interest compounded quarterly, how much money will be in the account after 6 years? Okay? So, ang tinatanong niya, how much okay, money will be in the account? So, ibig sabihin nito lahat-lahat na. And that is the future value. So, we have the formula again. So, kunin muna natin yung mga given. So, of course, Yung pong F, yan yung ating unknown, yan ang isusolve natin. Now, what is 5,000 pesos? You deposit. So, ibig sabihin, original amount mo yan. So, that's the principal amount. That is 5,000 pesos. Then, 6%, yan naman po yung tinatawag natin na I raised to M, no? Uh, or the rate. So, that is 6%. Kapag ka ginawa nating uh, decimal, yung 6%, we just move two decimal places to the left. So, 1, 2. So, may point ka dito. Yan. So, magiging 0 0.06. 0 0.06. Then, yung ating M naman is... Um, the frequency of conversion, ano po ang nakalagay dito? Nakalagay compounded quarterly. So, kanina, kapag compounded quarterly, ilan yung frequency of conversion? That is 4. So, yung table natin kanina, pwede nyo yung balikan. No? Then, our time, yung term niya ay, sabi niya, 6 years. So, magkano daw lahat ng pera niya after 6 years? Okay, so let's solve this one. So we have F is equal to, what is our P? That's 5,000. 1, oh, sorry, 1 plus I raised to M, that's 0 0.06. Divided by our M is 4. Okay, raised to the power of, what is our M? That is 4 again. Tapos yung T natin, so ita times natin sa T, that is 6. So, we just substitute. Next. So, simplify natin. This is 5,000. 
Unahin muna natin itong nasa loob ng parenthesis. Ito muna ang uh, division, no? 0.06 divided by 4, that is 0.015. Then, 4 times 6 is 24. Okay? Next, uh, we have 5,000. So, unahin muna natin yung nasa parenthesis. 1 plus 0.015, that's 1.015. Raise to the power of 24. Next, wag ka mo nang mag-multiply dito. Simplify mo na natin yung exponent. So, this time, you need to use calculator. Mas maganda kung scientific calculator. So, what is 1.015 raised to the power of 24? So, that is equal to 1.43 something. No? Meron pang kadugtong yan, pero medyo mahaba. So, sulat na lang natin 1.43. Now, wag mo munang i-close ang calculator mo. Diretso mo na yan. Yung sagot mo doon, kanina, i-times mo na sa 5,000. Okay? Para accurate yung sagot natin, hindi rounded off. So, that is equal to 7,147.51 pesos. Okay? So, this is now our answer. For number 1. Okay, so we have number 2. If you deposit 5,500 pesos into an account paying 5% annual interest compounded monthly, how much money will be in the account for 5 years? So again, ito yung ating formula. Actually, this is the same with number 1. Ang hinahanap pa rin dito ay yung F. No? Magkano lahat ng pera. Then, 5,500, yun po yung ating principal amount. Uh, ito namang 5%, that is the I, the nominal rate. I raised to M, that's 5%. So, pag ginawa natin decimal, 0 0.05. Then, yung M natin, so ano po ba ang sabi dito? Compounded monthly. So, ilan po yung frequency of conversion kapag monthly? That is 12. Then, yung term natin or time, so sabi niya 5 years. Okay? Next, solve na natin. F is equal to what is our P? That's 5,500 times 1 plus what is I raised to M? That's the rate. 0 0.05. Divided by ano po yung M natin? That's 12. Raise to the power of M ulit. That is 12 times yung T natin, which is 5. Okay? So, copy first 5,500. 1 plus, what is 0 0.05 divided by 12? That is 0 0.00417. Okay, actually, um, May, ka, may kadugtong pa yan, okay? Uh, mahaba, no? So, wag nyo munang i-close ang calculator nyo, no? Para accurate mamaya. Now, what is 12 times 5? That is 60, okay? Then, 5,500. Okay, now, kanina yung calculator nyo, di ba? Dinibide nyo sa 12 yung 0 0.05. Yung sagot dyan, mahaba yan. Ipindutin mo na yung plus 1. So, magiging 1.004. 17 oh again may kadugtong pa yan no then ang gawin mo exponent kunin mo yung 6 uh, raised to the power of 60 nito so ang sagot diyan ay mahaba ulit no uh, wag mo ulit i-close yung calculator mo may kadugtong yan i times mo ngayon yan sa 5500 so that is equal to 7000 58.47. Okay? So, this is now our answer. Okay, let's have number 3. How much money would you need to deposit? So, magkano daw ang i-deposit mo? So, doon pa lang, alam nyo na kung ano yung hinahana na. At 8% annual interest compounded semi-annually to have 15,000 pesos in the account for 5 years. So, we have the formula. So, hinahanap how much money would you uh, would you need to deposit. Magkano daw ang i-deposit mo? Ibig sabihin, 
ang pinapahanap sa atin is the P, the principal amount, yung original na deposit mo. So, I raised to M is equal to yung rate natin, that's 8%, that or that is 0.08. Then, uh, yung M natin is, sabi niya, semi-annually. Okay? Pag semi-annually, yung M niyan ay 2. Dalawang beses sa isang taon. Then, itong 15,000, ito yung na ngayon yung future value. Okay? Hindi yan yung principal, no? Kasi yung principal amount, ito yung ating hinahanap. So, yung 15,000 pesos, ito yung future value. Then, time naman is equal to 5 years. So, use the same formula. Huwag na tayo mag-derive ng formula. So, simply substitute lang natin, no? So, our F is 15,000 equals, wala tayong P, yan yung hinahanap natin, 1 plus, what is I raised to M, 0 0.08. What is our M, that is 2. M ulit is 2 times 5, yung ating term. Okay? 15,000 is equal to P. 1 plus, o, divide muna natin to Nahin muna natin yung pag-divide nito, no? That's 0 0.04. Then, raised to 10. 2 times 5 is 10. Okay? Copy again, 15,000. P. Then, we simply add 1.04 raised to 10. Now, yung P, i-arrange lang natin, no? Ilagay natin sa dulo. Kasi usually, yung variable, nilalagay sa dulo yan. Okay? Now, 15,000 is equal to O. Oh, yung calculator mo, erase mo ngayon yan sa 10, yung 1.04 gamit ang calculator. So, 1.48. Actually, mahaba pa yan, oh, pero sulat ko na lang yung 48. So, now, to eliminate itong 1.48, divide natin yan. Both sides of the equation para ma-cancel natin yan. So, ang nawawala ay yung, ang natira na lang ay P. Pag dinivide mo ito, ang sagot dyan ay 10,133.46. Okay? That is our principal amount. Okay? So, I hope naintindihan mo no, how to solve for future value and principal amount for Compound interest compounding more than once a year. Thank you for watching.